Hey everyone! Thanks for joining me if you're a returning viewer. If this is your first time, welcome! Uh, my name is Joyce. I'm just doing a vlog of my fitness journey. And so far, I had lost 30 pounds. Pretty sure I've gained another 10. So it's just back and forth, fluctuating. I started working with my coach again. I'm supposedly training for a fitness competition. And I have my first set of gold stars. So I have had 14 days straight clean eating, following the plan, doing really well. Pat on the back, it's been pretty good. I'm proud of myself. Um, today I just completed the Cherry Creek Sneak here in Denver, Colorado. And it was an amazingly fun 5K, except it was brutally cold and it was kind of rainy. Um, it was my first 5K in the rain, so that was an experience, but I wasn't in the mood for it. It was definitely not my best time. Um, either way, so today I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about, you know, my journey so far, what's been going on, and um, 5Ks. So, what's been going on, like I said, I'm pretty sure I've gained 10 more pounds. I started working with my coach on the 15th, so I have 14 days straight clean eating, um, I feel I have not seen any results yet from the 14 days. I definitely um, think that the results I'm seeing now are from the holidays <laughs> a couple months ago when I was eating a lot of things I should not have been eating and they definitely take a toll. I think um, whenever you say, oh, it's just one chocolate bar, it's just one this, just one that, it will add up. If not in days, weeks, or months, it will add up in years. Um, for example... My coach tells me to eat X amount of salmon, for example, a day. So if she says five ounces of salmon a day, and I don't measure and weigh all this stuff, and I end up eating six ounces of salmon a day, by the end of the work week, I have eaten 25 ounces of salmon, or I should have eaten 25 ounces of salmon, but I end up eating 30 ounces of salmon because I didn't measure weigh scope things out appropriately. So these things do add up because you're giving the body more than it needs and then you gain weight or you don't lose any weight and it becomes a problem. So I'm learning all these things little by little. Um, picking up, learning things about myself in the process. So I will let you know how it goes. I'm being patient with myself and understanding that it's a lifelong change and it took me 21 years to get to where I am now. So it's not going to change overnight. But it's easy to say, harder to believe it honestly. Um, but yeah, so that's where I am in terms of nutrition, in terms of working out and stuff that's been going well as well. I try to work out at least five times a week, sometimes six. Um, and it doesn't always have to be like staring at the, tr at the treadmill, um, looking at your neighbor, watching the TV on the screen for like 45 minutes. That is really boring. I try to do as many fun things as I can, including things like the 5K, which I highly encourage you to do because different 5Ks have different activities, after parties, um, giveaways, t-shirts, things like that. And I never used to think that I would be able to do a 5K. I was always like, you know, I need to work out for it. I'm not in good shape. But come to realize everyone is doing it. Like, different shapes, different sizes, different ages, different genders. As a matter of fact, there's a guy in front of me today when I was running. The back of his shirt said he was running his first 5K with his new heart. Apparently he got a heart transplant in November 2013. And it's like, if this 60-year-old man is running along with his new heart, how am I, as an able-bodied 21-year-old, going to make an excuse around being physically active? You know what I mean? Um, and there's so many more benefits than just the physical part of being active. You get to, when you run 5Ks and stuff, you meet members of the community. It's a good time. Today, for example, there was free beer. Cliff bars people were there. Propel water people were there. Giving out all these free stuff. We got these cool little free shirts. I'm trying to find mine right now, but I don't know where I put it. So, oh well. And it's just a good time. I highly encourage you. You get to know your city, explore your city, have fun with your girlfriends. Um, definitely try it. Another thing I did this weekend, which was really fun as well, on Friday, I went for a Zumba party. It was so much fun. It was from 6.30 to 8.30 to 8 o'clock, and by the time I left, 
I was done. Like, when I got home, I just fell asleep by 10 o'clock because I was so tired. It was, it drains you in a positive way. You just have a good time. You're all dancing and laughing and hanging out like friends and working out at the same time and you're dancing without the heels, which is always great for those like going to the club. And it's way better when you wake up the next day without a hangover from being shwasty facey the night before. So I highly encourage you to try to engage in productive, fun, physical activities that will not leave you bored and hating working out. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, and I'm wearing, I am wearing two jackets because it was really, really cold and I hate being cold and I still think I kind of caught a cold, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, technically, if we're going according to the clock for the calendar, it's four o'clock, it's almost five o'clock, it's almost May. Um, time to reassess, reevaluate what's working, what's not working. As always, every month, I really think we need to keep ourselves accountable, keep ourselves in check, and revisit our New Year's resolutions. So New Year's Eve, we're not making the same resolutions all over again, because time is really waiting for no one. I can't believe it's almost May. Like, that blows my mind that it's almost May. So, really get on top of what you need to be doing. I'm trying to be on top of what I need to be doing. It's been hard. Like, at my new job, there are bagels everywhere. There's cake everywhere. People give you chocolate. Like, all these things are, like, thrown at you in a very nice way, like gifts. And typically, I would scavenge these things without thinking twice about them but when you keep your goal in mind you're like no you know you can put your foot down and look at that Snickers bar and be like the Snickers bar is here now it's gonna be here after I stop my diet like the Snickers bar is always gonna be there you know but you don't have your life isn't always guaranteed for you to try to change it around so please just don't give in to these things I'm trying my hardest the other day there was there was cake kind of coffee cake at work and I had two slices big slices because it was just it was looking at me I was looking at it it was like hey I was like hey um but yeah so it, it was a perfect match but other than that I'm really trying and that was before I started working with my coach again so now I'm really trying to keep it all together because in the long run like in six months you're gonna be like man I wish I had just blah 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 right now and fill in the blank and try to do it right now and keep motivated, do fun things for exercise, and let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Till next time, amigos.